Welcome to part six to our Galaxy Defiance uh, Space Shooter tutorial series in Godot 4. In this video, we're going to be creating, not finishing the green enemy, but getting quite a bit more of it done. So let's open up the green enemy scene. If you don't have it open already, we'll come into animated sprite. We'll give it new sprite frames and uh, select that. And we'll select our frames icon here so we can add some sprite frames to it. Find the green enemy and open. It has three horizontally and one vertically. And then we can, if you hold control and scroll, you can zoom in, select all of these frames. And we'll just call this, I don't know, what is this? It's, it's move animation. And we'll just auto play it. We can play it here in the editor too. It's just going to kind of wiggle toward us. Uh, let's set our visibility on screen notifier size so that it's smaller. It's this enemy better. We'll save. Now we want to tell this enemy to move. So let's uh, open up its move component and we'll assign, hmm, actually let's go into the base enemy and assign what it's going to be moving. And we should go back in the components on the base enemy scene and set all of these. Okay, shake component, flash component, scale component, they're all set up. Move component set up, stats component is set to one. That looks good. Okay, now if we come back into here, it's already set to the green enemy and we can set its Y velocity to 40. There we go. Okay, if we come back into our world, we should be able to place a few of these. So we can drop one here maybe, drop one here, and drop one here. And then if we run the game, see the enemies come down to us we can't shoot them they can't hit us but they do move down toward us it is going to need some stats so let's go back to its stats component and this is one thing that we don't want to set on the enemy template scene because we want this to be only on this enemy um, so we're going to set its stats to three that way it will be unique to this green enemy. The green enemy will have three stats. Our base enemy template, we're not even gonna change the stats. We'll just leave it at one, it's fine. Because when we extend this, or when we, not extend, when we create an inherited scene from this, we will be setting the stats for each enemy individually, just like we did with this green one here. Okay, this was a really short video, but that's all we're going to be doing in this one. In the next one, we'll be setting up our hurt boxes and hit boxes so we can actually destroy this enemy and uh, potentially get some score from it. So we'll be, well, we won't be setting up the score quite yet, actually, but we'll set it up to where we can destroy this enemy. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in any of my Godot courses, they're on sale right now or um, a fall sale, it's a pretty heavy discount. There'll be a link at the end of this video and in the description if you're interested. Thanks so much for the support and I'll see you all in the next video.